When a couple is trying to conceive, it can be difficult to know exactly when you're ovulating, and in order for pregnancy to occur, you need to time intercourse with ovulation. Maybe you've been trying for a few months and you haven't gotten pregnant yet and you've been just tracking your cycles using the calendar or rhythm method, maybe monitoring changes in cervical mucus or basal body temperature. Um, if it's been a while and you haven't had success, then maybe you could try using ovulation prediction kits. And what these do is look for a surge in LH or luteinizing hormone, which is associated with ovulation. And um, typically, if you get a positive result, you're going to ovulate within 12 to 36 hours. This is especially helpful for women who maybe have been ovulating a little bit sooner or later than the norm, and that's why they haven't gotten pregnant yet. So um, m the manufacturer of most tests recommends starting to test on day nine, and then once you start seeing positives, it's time to start trying. Once you stop seeing positive results, then your chance for conception is over for that cycle, and all you can do is wait to see if your next period starts. If it doesn't start as usual, then it's time to take a pregnancy test. But if you're not pregnant, then you can try again the next cycle. Now, maybe your cycles are 25, 26, or 27 days long. That's regular, but a little bit shorter than the norm. Maybe that means you're ovulating earlier than usual, and so you should start testing on like day seven. Now, as for the time of day to take it, read the manufacturer's insert and find out what they recommend because some are standardized to different times of the day and you'll wanna take it when they tell you to take it so that it's most accurate. Good luck with everything, and if you have any more questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.